And so it just seemed like a cool idea, and since the Historical Society was interested as well, we just put it together. Like I have one of the two first dollars that my great-grandfather ever made, I have it in a little case, and that's sitting in my office. Oh, um, and, and I actually I've got uh, uh, my great-grandpa, uh, Mike, was a district judge, circuit judge for a while, and a few years ago a constituent um, just sent me in one of his little campaign flyers that she had in a box someplace and she was probably doing some spring cleaning and just came in and gave it to me, so that's kind of cool. So I've got that up. So I've got some stuff there anyway, but there's a lawyer's motor vehicle speed chart. So back in the day, that was a state-of-the-art technology, if you think about it. You know, so based upon whatever information, I don't know how to use it, information they had, you could calculate the speeds of the vehicles and you know, and then just different slide rules and some court calendars. And actually, this is an old Supreme Court uh, exhibit from the Rabbit Lake cases over here, um, where the mining company over there wanted to drain Rabbit Lake so they could get the uh, ore that was under it. So they wanted to take the one bowl, build a dam, take the one bowl, and put it over into the other. Some of those types of things. Right. And then I bought from one this, and then there's two other. Uh, I think one's the muscles and one's the nerves or whatnot. But all, I mean, you don't see this fancy kind of artwork on it anymore. You know, and just stuff like that. So maybe at one point we might put out another display case. But what I want to give Ed Mink from EL Jewelers, he donated this mm -hmm. uh, for the exhibit. So give him a little shout out.